just got into Southern California. Everything's smooth so far because the gun showed up. Gonna meet the outfitter, Jake, and then we've got about an hour and a half to get to the coast, and we're gonna take a ferry out to Catalina Island. It's like a pretty sweet island. I can't wait to actually see it. Welcome. Thank you. Beautiful California. In a boat, we'll stop at like a sporting goods store and get deer tags down there. Okay. A deer tag. So how does it work on the island? Are we stay where are we staying at on the island? It's like they have like a camp. Okay. A whole facility. Okay. Deal. We just got down to the dock. We've got a couple hour boat ride to get out to Catalina Island. So getting there is quite an adventure. We decided not to take the ferry over. We're actually gonna hop on a fishing boat and on the way over, we're actually gonna look for swordfish. This is one of the permitted captains that can get swordfish out of the waters here. So that's gonna be pretty cool if we actually see one, but we'll do that on the way to the island, get settled in tonight, looking forward to hunting tomorrow. But man, it's actually quite an adventure just to get there. made it over to Catalina Island. We're gonna get everything unloaded and how it is here, you kind of dock out to a buoy. So we've got to load it on a boat, get it into town. And then from town, we've got about a 30 minute ride over to where a tent camp's at. That's where we're gonna hunt out of on the island. But the whole trip over was amazing. We saw dolphins, whales, tuna, you name it. Just a crazy trip over here. Can't wait to see this place in the morning when I'm all dressed in camo and ready to roll. Well, getting everything set here first morning. We had an awesome time just getting to the island yesterday. Can't wait to see it as the sun lifts today and actually able to see the island. As we start off, we're actually gonna have Dan's up first, so we're gonna hopefully get out a good deer for him this morning. I'm gonna be up second, but this morning we're gonna start off and hopefully turn up a good deer for Dan. Okay. 
Let's just keep working in and out behind that bush. Okay, he just came back out, guys. Right there. Right side, right side of the bush. Boom. Good shot. That's awesome. That deer looks super wide. That's ready for a follow-up shot. <laughs> There's no need for a follow-up shot with that. Dan happened to catch some bucks over on the side over here and only took a quick quick glance and there were two really good deer. One super wide, three by three, and it Dan made a heck of a shot. He went straight down, and this deer looks from a distance, super wide, dark horn. He's got one droopy ear on him, just an old buck. So he's laying over there. We're going to get everything packed up, get over to him. Can't wait to look at him. I'm definitely shedding a layer for this one. Sir. Fearless leader shows the way. Went, you went like this. I don't know, I was hesitating. I'm like, man, if I don't, if I leave it in the car, we're gonna see an absolute giant at like 13 yards just staring at us. Just got a chance after Dan's successful hunt this morning to get the gun out here and just check it after all the travel. I always like to check to make sure it's on. They got kind of a unique range here. We'll check it out to 100 and then they've got some dongs set up after that. So I always like to hear a dong. We may do that as well. What else we got? Yeah, it's so. top right. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Right we'll give that a try. Yeah, we'll do four. I gotta switch this back though, real quick. Just gotta switch it back to the other one. I had to set up my muzzle loader. All right, everybody ready? Oh yeah, I see yeah, it. That's a six. 618 or whatever, 620. Right, what the hell? Always like to have the confidence boost that nothing got messed up during travel.
afternoon. We're actually one ridge over from where we were this morning. If you look behind, that was the ridge that we were walking this morning. So if we're just popping over. There's a big gully here. The guides have seen a giant in here in the past. Actually looks like a mainframe four by four and then it's got an inline on it. So hopefully we glass that one up out of here but it got so warm today we're expecting late movement so we're just going to stay up high glass until kind of gets that sweet time and then we may wander down and glass this ridge a little lower but we don't want to push them out winds coming right into our face so we're set up for a good afternoon been up glassing on the hill here for a couple hours and starting to hit that magical time with about 45 minutes left to light and having deer pop out all over the place. We've seen a small buck over here and a couple small bucks down below. Let's just keep glassing away and hopefully that big guy comes out before before it gets too dark. It was so hot today it slowed it up till the last hour. Go down this road here peel off the road a little bit, dump off to the right. Okay. There's kind of a knob out there. It will be above all those openings below, kind of where we just saw that little buck go. Okay. And then see if he comes out just because of the time we're having. Yeah. We'll pack stuff up. Nope. Sounds good. Down there. of different bucks and does all over the place just not the one we were looking for it was just kind of glass this area right at last light to see if we'd see them just so we could come back here tomorrow but no luck just gorgeous so you can hear the waves hitting in the background it's tough to imagine that you're hunting in a place like this same area we saw that big buck last night and we're coming up on the opposite hill that we were on so we can kind of glass into where we last saw him hopefully those does took him right over the edge and he's just hanging right there but to start we're kind of glassing from a distance just getting different angles and we're going to head in right now on the opposite hill again glass where we last saw him last night if those does hung around he should be right there it's just so thick in there so nasty and we'll just take our time going around this morning and utilize it before it gets too hot it's a big deer though he's definitely worth the time trying to pull him out of there. Saws. 
didn't know what we were and actually came about 40 yards away just to check us out before we got our wind. We've glassed this little base in here. I mean, from one side to the other a couple of times. I'm not sure that those does and that big buck are here. Chase just caught a big framing deer coming down the opposite side hill over here. He just walked down real quick, then disappeared in the bottom. It's facing to the left. Just okay, the close one facing left. Spot, buddy. God, that's awesome. Yeah, four on the right. Oh, that's awesome. Dude. That is sweet. Is that the one you think you saw coming down? That's awesome. Oh. That's Dude. That's awesome. Yes. Awesome. Look at this guy. That is sweet. He's got a kicker. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, he's broken off on his left, but he's got a kicker on the right. And that is so awesome. We have been covering some ground the last couple of days here and seen a couple of really 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 good deer but this one is just so sweet he's got a kicker on that side that is awesome such an old deer here california mule deer catalina island part of the north american deer slam and part of the reason why i'm loving doing this is it's taken me to areas i probably wouldn't normally hunt like hunting here on catalina island getting a chance to do this that is sweet california isn't the first place that comes to mind for finding big mule deer but it gave me a hunt I won't soon forget. From the traveling getting here to putting my tag on this great mule deer, I'm truly blessed to have experienced this hunt. This free range California mule deer makes number nine on my list of 31 for the North American Deer Slam. Hey everyone, for more information on the North American Deer Slam, make sure to visit markvpeterson.com or visit any of my social channels. Also check out the Deer Slam maps and each species information at markvpeterson.com.